we have learned so much about this brand new coronavirus since it first appeared worldwide. We, we began by thinking that it might be a risk to children, that it might be something that children could be super spreaders like they are with flu virus, that children hardly ever get significant illness from COVID. And also, they are no more likely to spread it than adults and possibly even less likely. We, we also know that when we closed our schools, it made very, very little difference actually to the transmission of COVID in the island. On the other side, we do know from international experience and also from local experience that some children are being harmed by ongoing absence from school. We know even here in Jersey that we've had far fewer safeguarding referrals to the safeguarding team and a lot of those sort of referrals actually come from teachers who've spotted something to be concerned about uh, in, in the school setting. There's also the potential of widening education inequality. On many levels, it's very, very clear that it's in children's better interests overall. So it's absolutely the right thing that we start to get children back to school in as phased a manner as the schools can manage. If, uh, if I had my way, I'd, uh, I'd like everybody back to school tomorrow because the, the evidence is so strong that that's the right thing to do.